Hey, what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK and I'm in my car vlogging, darling. And I decided that I wanted to get online real quick and speak to you guys about Beyonce Knowles Carter and her outing with her little daughter, Rumi um, Carter. And I thought it was actually really cute. You know, it was actually PG-13. She was definitely giving. But you know what? Today in this video, I'm not going to really talk about Rumi too much and Beyonce because I thought it was appropriate. You know, it seemed like it was girls her age around, around her and it was family fun. Today, we're going to be talking the Basquette and Madonna. Now, I don't know if y'all realize it, but the, I've been talking the Basquette and the Basquette case um, on my channel. Now, if you guys don't know, um, Jean Michelle Basquette, and hopefully I'm saying his name correctly because y'all know I can fuck up a name. And I really don't mean to do that on purpose, intentionally. But Jean Michelle Basquette, he was a painter, and people literally gravitated towards his work because he came around in a time where t things were hard and he basically was giving something different. He was a whole different vibe that everyone appreciated. As you, as a matter of fact, um, uh, what is it, Jay-Z, he's out here and he's duplicating his art as of recent. But a fun fact that you may not know is that Madonna, um, it's alleged that Madonna dated G. Michelle Basket from like 1982 to 1983. Are you aware of that? Hmm. I think it's really, really fudging interesting, you know? But yes, Madonna was tied to G. Michelle Basquet. Now, I don't know if you realize this, but I've done a couple of videos on Beyonce as well as Jay-Z where I was talking to you guys about duplication, the Basquet case, legal filings. The first thing that I want you guys to note is about uh, maybe like a year ago, um, I saw Beyonce's All About Love collection with Jay-Z. I think it was Tiffany Diamonds. And she was basically on there, you know, showing love to not only her husband, Jay-Z, but she also gave, uh, she showed a painting uh, that belonged to Mr. Jean Michelle Basquette. And it was definitely a thriller at the time when I saw it. Um, also, I want you guys to know that um, when I think about Miss Beyonce Knowles Carter, I am also thinking about my cousin, um, which dealt with a basket case. But I want you guys to know that his case dealt with disclosures, um, prohibited personnel practices. Um, when I read my cousin's case, just a little synopsis, and I'm going to do a video on it later, I found out my cousin actually made a complaint on that federal agent where he was alleging that he was trying to put a case against him via hearsay. Nothing that he was saying was actual facts. He was just throwing shit together. And as I was reading his case, um, I don't know if you guys know, my cousin is a tied to a woman named Felicia and her two children who, who died and went missing. The um, inform, not the, not, excuse me, not the informant, but the, um, the federal agent never filed a missing person report to say that her kids were missing. It had to be people out in the street that was giving out crime tips. And that's a thriller. This man, a federal agent, didn't even do his job. Something's not right. Not only that, but Felicia, she was supposed to be a witness. And when Felicia went missing, he did absolutely nothing. He did not put in a, a, a missing person report on this, this lady or anything. So by the time my cousin's case went to court and he was being sentenced for all these years in prison, his case went back to his initial disclosures. His case was all about hearsay. Hear fucking say. And that is a fudging thriller. What's a very interesting is Miss Beyonce knows Carter. I have been alleging not only is working with the federal government because I am a monarchy and I breached the US Constitution, but my case is similar to my cousin's disclosures, prohibited personnel practices, and the list goes on. Yes. And she has attached herself because she's Queen B and she's worth what 2.5 billion, but she's not really doing well. Adidas, she's she's failing. So, you know, it's just a lot that's going on there. Anyhow, guys, 
I just wanted to share this information with you guys about uh, Miss Madonna hanging out with um, Miss Beyonce Knowles Carter, two queens. And I appreciated it. So I wanted to share because sharing is caring. Anyhow, I'm going to get offline because I have to take care of my business. So peace, love, and happiness, guys. Bye.